Hi everybody, uh, within this video we'll talk about environment creation, uh, the main action in Jelastic, it's not possible even to imagine a normal deployment, project deployment without that function. Um, we'll also uh, talk about some setting resources, uh, changing topology function and the basic uh, actions that can be performed over existing environments. So. Let's proceed. Let's navigate to our dashboard. After we uh, logged in there, um, in the left top uh, corner, there is a create environment button. So customers actually uh, can create it. And, uh, I mean environments. <coughs> and the main idea is that um, during this stage, it's possible to First of all, to choose target um, application stack. So, or is, is it a Java, PHP, or Ruby for now? Uh, so, first of all, let's imagine we need a Java application stack. Then we need to create um, the same uh, environment topology, for example, like we have uh, on our uh, local machine. For example, if we have uh, just simple application that requires Tomcat only, so we will do the same thing in Jelastic. So we, we will need to create only Tomcat as an application server. But in case um, our application requires some uh, database server, for example, on local machine we have a web application that requires Tomcat and uh, establish a connection to MySQL server, so the same topology will uh, will have to create uh, on Jelastic side. So the idea, first of all, the idea is that the topology should be at least the same, um, actually no less, uh, in comparison with that topology on a local machine or on other, uh, some kind of uh, hosting platforms. So, to speed up environment creation, we will choose just uh, Tomcat 7. Um, if we are talking about scaling, uh, as you know, Jelastic supports two types of scaling. This is a vertical scaling. A uh, vertical scaling can be achieved by means of setting uh, resources, vertical resources um, cloudless. So, uh, these resources can be applied for each container individually uh, also uh, so actually by means of that you are setting cloudless uh, you are setting uh, dynamic resources dynamic limits uh, ram memory and uh, cpu uh, resource as well uh, if we are talking about um, horizontal scaling um, it can be achieved manually also uh, you just need to specify number of uh, application servers so um, just to it's not possible to um, to set more than two uh, because I am restricted actually my uh, account is restricted in creation uh, more than two instances so but anyway it will be enough so uh, during this stage it's also possible to uh, <coughs> to scale um, environment, actually uh, application server layer, uh, to scale it horizontally. Uh, as you can see, the nginx this is also independent container. Actually, all uh, all three containers: one container with uh, nginx software pre-installed inside, and two uh, two containers, two virtual uh, containers with the Tomcat application server pre-installed inside will be created and so it will be three independent containers uh, during creation stage there is also a required step that requires a uh, certain environment name by default this is uh, generated automatically uh, randomly actually uh, but anyway it's possible to uh, set some custom name that would be my demo
Uh, it's also possible to, for example, uh, to set some functions like high availability or setting public IP for some specific instances. Um, if we are talking about Tomcat, it's possible to turn it on. When I'm talking about public IP, it's possible to apply f to attach for uh, application server. It's possible to attach for database server, for example. So, for any instance except uh, build node, because it, uh, there is no need to attach public IP, so there is no such uh, as a build. So anyway, if we click on create, less than in a minute, our environment will be created. Um, also, uh, not only environment creation function uh, is very popular, actually is required, but is very popular function. There is a function that uh, allows customers to edit to um, reconfigure already created environments. So this uh, function is called change topology. And there is a, a specific button opposite to environment name. So if we click on it, you see that uh, we have a Tomcat application server. Uh, you see that there is no um, there is no ability to switch between um, application stacks. So uh, if we uh, create it. Um, Java-based application server, so for now we are not able to switch from Java to PHP and, for example, to change um, Apache uh, PHP instance instead of uh, Tomcat application server, which is Java application server. So, within this stage, uh, there is a possibility to uh, also to uh, increase amount of application servers, so in other words, uh, do horizontal scaling also is possible to uh, change some uh, cloudlets limit uh, for specific containers. Also uh, possible to make all changes, um, like customers have uh, during the environment initial environment creation stage. So I suppose it should be clear. Here we go, we have already created our test environment and if we run it, we should get a start page of Apache Tomcat instance. Also, uh, there is a simple function, there are a set of uh, functions that allows customers to uh, make stop environment or running environments that are in sleeping mode so it can be achieved by means of run and stop functions thank you